Welcome guys to the new series we're doing here where we got the the hardcore skyblock series. Um, this is what we got to work with. Um, we got a little quest book that they give us that has all sorts of little uh, quests that we got to do. So let's go ahead and start this off and see what we can get accomplished here. Um, I know with this mod um, you starve really easy. So they give us all this good stuff here first of all. So first things first we got to get a tree and we got to get this thing growing. We need to immediately start to get something growing. Period. That's like problem number one that we got to we got to get some wood and we got to get an apple and we got to get a couple of these things going. So um, yeah, this mod actually um, uh, we'll, we'll get into the quest book when I have a couple more minutes here, but uh, I want to get this wood and this tree and everything going first. Um, let's uh, let's do this real quick because we need to make a crafting table for starters. So let's do this before I take out all this wood. Um, we need this, which gives us um, some sticks, and we need to go like this. And we need these because we have more probability of getting saplings if we break these leaves like such yeah I've I've played this mod before um, I've got a pretty good uh, pretty good start on it on my other uh, on my other world that I've done so I kind of have an understanding of what's got to be done uh, I kind of slow played the mod the first time um, I read the book kind of went into there and thought oh damn I'm I'm starving already so I kind of had to like pick up the pace so to try to help us out here I'm gonna try to get us going a little bit faster. I want this little silkworm. There we go. Um, the whole object of this is just like you really got to move along. You got to got to get trees going. You got to get um, some silkworms going and they'll infect some trees here. Um, I believe yeah let's do this. So I can take this block and let's put it right here. And we're gonna put us we're gonna put one here and we're gonna take this pile of dirt here and we're gonna move it over to there there we go so let's go ahead and plant this get those up there okay um, let's go ahead and throw one of these on there for right now so what I did is I put the silkworm on there and it kind of does this it, it kind of starts to infect these trees what the silkworm does will allow us to get some string um, and some more of those little silkworms which are useful because we can actually cook up those little silkworms and we can also um, fish in the the pond over here so uh, that'll help us survive a little bit more so back to the chest um, this flint we need to utilize it to make some stuff um, so what I need to do is to actually build a couple items here. So I don't think I have enough wood to do this, but let me uh, let me kind of see what we can do here. I think I think it goes. I think the part builder is the crafting table. So let's make another crafting table like this and I believe this makes the tool station right correct and then one of these with these gives us this that gives us the stencil table and then we need another piece of wood of course now it's gonna start getting dark yeah this is uh, this is a really hard it's a fun fun mod basically what they did is somebody took to, that made this mod basically said listen okay let's only give them so many lives because right now I think we only have let's look at this book real quick it has been a horrible 10 years see it starts to read all this and and I, I really don't want to I don't want to listen to all that right now so they give us two lives so we only have two lives to survive and we have to do all these quests which are basically 
we've got to do all this. We've got to come in here, we got to submit all this stuff, and we submit it into this quest delivery system, which allows us to get uh, perks and bonuses and whatnot. So what we need to do is, here, let me just manually submit this. Okay, we submitted it so we can claim our reward. We hear the cute little music. So let's back out of there. And now we've got this quest delivery system. So we can actually put that on there. You have currently not bound this. So I need to, uh, let's see, let's go like this. We need to manually submit another piece of wood. I think, I thought you shift clicked on it or uh, I don't remember. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's manually submit another piece of wood. No help given. So now it's asking for us to do the hopper. Um, so let's feed this thing, this hopper. Uh, let's go like this because I'm not going to not going to go about the whole let's put the hopper on feed the piece of wood I just want to manually submit that and now we've got this reward so let's see what we got here we got this heart but what you want to do with these hearts is you want to scroll over them and right here it says consume to get an extra life well there is some of these hearts that you'll get that will actually take away your life so you got to be careful before you consume them so I always make sure I scroll over them before I consume them. So now if we look at our quest book, we will have, um, let's get back out of here, out of here, out of here. Um, now we have three lives. So as we continue to do our quest, we'll continue to receive hearts and we'll be able to um, build up more lives. So obviously this is, this little book binder, it takes like string and paper and we don't have paper right now. so. We're not going to worry about that, so we'll continue on down the line. So see here it's telling me all the stuff that I've already kind of started to craft, and I'm going to get a reward for doing such. So <clears throat> I want to go ahead and continue to make these couple of items here so that we can get what we need. Um, and our trees are turning pretty white, so we're doing pretty good there. Um, what else did I need? I needed a... Oh, I think I know what I needed. I needed to go like this and grab some more sticks and we needed to go like this and like this to get this and this and this will give us our last table. There we go. There's our part builder. Okay, and now we needed a chest. Oh, let's see what we got for a reward here real quick. Spawner eggs. Okay. What do we get? Jet cat, a uh, silver fish, uh, spawn a chicken. Spawn a blitz, spawn a sheep, pig, and a villager. That'll come in handy. And some mushrooms. Oh, the mushroom's handy because we could make bowls and have soup. Man, that's a, that's a really useful reward. Okay, so let's put all these in the chest so we don't lose them. So as I was saying earlier, so basically somebody decided when they built this mod, I believe, is what they were thinking was, listen, people come in here, they play Skyblock, and they go, oh, I'm getting hungry, we don't have no food. So they just jump off and, and respawn. Well, you can't do that in this mod because of the fact that if you die, you only have so many lives. So that's good. And then they made it so you can't, uh, you need to really focus on food. Um, where if you're not doing a lot of jumping around or whatnot in the normal sky block, you don't ever have to really worry about it too much. Um, but with this one, you're like, look, I've hardly done anything. I haven't really jumped around and I'm already losing hearts or health. So you've really got to pay attention to what you're doing. So I really like how they created this mod so you couldn't exploit weakness, um, in the game you know you have to you have to really stay on point um, and then they made it like hardcore survival where you don't have too many resources to work with granted these reward cases like that just saved us with the mushroom but 
other than that, um, we would kind of be hurting. So you got to kind of, okay, we got three more worms, okay. Just trying to keep tabs of what we got going here. I want that little worm. Where'd it go? There it goes. Yeah, these little silkworms come in handy because at a point you can actually cook them as well and eat those. So they're a good source of food as well. But what we need to do is to get uh, a barrel or two set up. And I believe, um, trying to pay attention here so I don't fall off while I'm walking around here talking to you guys. Um, <clears throat> the barrel is what we really need in the string to really get things moving along because basically we need to build the barrel to help mulch down saplings that we get. Right now we focused on the string so we can get, um, we need to build what's known as a sieve and to sieve the dirt and then we also need a bunch of saplings. So right now we only have two more of these little saplings. So these next two trees have got to be um, they've got to be regular trees. But we we needed the string. I was wanting to get the string so that I could fish. But now that I got that kind of set aside, we'll we'll work on the barrel and everything. So, but yeah, definitely check out this mod. It's on the Feed the Beast launcher. Um, it's definitely fun to play. I, I prefer this this world here. There's a, there's two maps. There's this map that just has this platform, and then there's another map that actually has a uh, what do you call it? Uh, like a little house kind of built on it, and has a little stream and whatnot. And it's cool and all, but I, I like I like the challenge a little bit more. So what else do we need? I think we just needed the barrel, right? Yeah. So we need just the barrel. And I believe a barrel is, uh, let's go like this, I believe a barrel is like this. Memory serves me right. Yes. So we need to put this barrel out. And this barrel is what we need to start sifting our sap or start putting our saplings in so we're going to put our saplings in here and it's going to create dirt blocks then we can sift our blocks and start getting seeds and stuff out of it so for right now though I want to I want to go like this um, oh I need a couple more sticks never mind let's go like this let's go like this. Let's go ahead and make two fishing rods so we have it. <clears throat> and then I believe, is it like this or is it like this? It's like that. And we need, I believe, two of these to make the other piece, um, which is, uh, what was it? Uh, no, that's a sifter right here. We need a sieve. Let's see. So it's four blocks and two sticks. Okay. And let's go like this. Uh, let's just do one for now. That gives us our four. So this is what we need to actually, oh man. I can't do that either. I need some sticks. And I need one more of these. Okay, so let's go like this. Alright, so this is the key to getting a little more progress going. So we can put dirt in here and we can sift it out and sift out seeds and some other stuff that we're going to need. So. Um, I need water. I'm trying to think. I gotta sift. I gotta sift cobblestone. I 
Oh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. I got to sift the dirt. Will give me the cobblestone pieces. The cobblestone I can break down and put into here. No, I can sift it. Get cobblestone pieces, break it down, get gravel, break it down, get sand, break it down, and get dust. Put the dust in here with water, then we'll get the clay, and then we can make the clay pots. Okay. I'm trying to remember, it's been so long since I have done this. Um, oh, there's an apple. That's a good sign. I'm so far ahead in my other or my other world of playing this, I, I can't quite remember how I was supposed to do things. So, but you always want to use one of these crooks. You always want to do this because this way you're you're constantly maximizing the chance to get saplings. Saplings is the key, and you got to be careful you don't use like your last sapling. And I like using the oak just due to the fact that I always have a chance of possibly getting an apple or the birch you don't, you know. So I, I don't really start using the birch or the spruce until later in the game when I'm just basically wanting different colored wood, you know. Other than that, see we only got six saplings and I need eight to make one dirt block. So um, what was that quest that was going to give me? Oh, let's claim the reward right here. The axe. Okay, so we got this plus our 10 apples. So we're in pretty good shape right now. Um, we made that. Okay, so we've got to make a hammer, a hammer and a bed, and then we can pick one of these, which would be wheat. And I think I'll go with carrot seeds because I found out it's kind of a chore. You can make wheat and to make bread. But bread's really not efficient unless you make like a pot and get some water and you need a bucket. So in this regard, for what we got going here, we don't have to worry about sugar cane really either. We'd want carrot seeds. Carrot seeds is what we're really after. So let's make a hammer and a bed. Um, let's just go like this. How much string do I got left? I got 22. And is it four of these makes that? Yeah, so let's go like this. Okay, there's enough to make the bed. We need the wood. Uh, but I got this axe, didn't I? Yeah, perfect. Let's cut this down and get some wood. So we can make the bread, or we can make the bed, and we can make the hammer, which will get us started with our next reward so we're moving right along moving right along we're still doing good on our health right now so let's go two of these for right now and let's go like this like this and we'll get the bed and then what was the other thing I needed to make oh the hammer the hammer is like this there Okay, so we now have our bed. Um, let's go like this. Okay, we got all that. So let's pick our carrot seeds. And we are going to... Oh, I can't do that because I got to do this first. I gotta make a piece of friggin' cobblestone first before I can get the seeds. Okay, um, that's easy enough. Just keep doing the saplings like this. Uh, let's go like this. And like this. Okay, let's grab some more of these. Just keep going along here and get some more saplings. Yeah, so it's kind of time consuming at first because you're you're trying to go as fast as you can, but you're also you're also slowed down by the fact that you need to get all these saplings and it's like that's the time time consuming part. Oh, that's a big tree too. Dang. Oop. Okay, so I need to make another one of these. Should see what our reward bag is too while we're at it here. Let's see what this reward is. 
limestone. What what can we do with limestone? Can we break limestone down? Uh, let's find out here real quick what we can do with limestone. Is this just like building or can we actually break this with the hammer into gravel? Let's find out. It's kind of hard to break with this wooden hammer too. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess just for building purposes would be the only reason that would be worth it. <laughs> I don't know what more I can... Here, let's put this chest right here. Let's put this heart in there, the bed. Let's leave this here. Let's put that there. Let's put these here for now. Uh, let's put these in there just to be safe. Okay, let's go ahead and finish off this tree. Yeah, so this is uh this is definitely a fun experience if you enjoy playing Skyblock. It it kind of you know like I said has a different element because they've they've made it so that you you can't really like exploit the cheats and you really got to be paying attention to your health all the time. So. Oh, man. This is not the tree I wanted to be dealing with right now. I just wanted more saplings than anything. I got ten saplings. So let's go ahead and plant one right here. And then I'm going to put eight of them in here and get another piece of dirt going. And later on, as you kind of get further within this game um, basically you can start to automate things a little bit faster and make things a little bit easier on you because like <clears throat> the whole premise of this game is basically um, at the beginning of that quest book there it basically tells you that um, there was some monsters that came along and ravaged the lands and basically depleted everything within the world and the gods were able to summon up these few supplies and saved you in this small little island in the sky to help rebuild everything. So the whole object is to basically get supplies, sift dirt, basically get seeds and everything from the dirt that you that are are that you can rebuild everything with. And it all it all comes out of mulching this dirt or this these leaves down into dirt so let's see if our dirt's ready so we've got a piece of dirt now okay see that so and I think we can do 25 string I think it is too so string oh hey there's another sapling so if we put this in here and we sift this out we will get we got a rubber tree seed and we got some regular seeds and we got three of those and I think we need four of those stone to actually make one piece of cobblestone. So let's put these in here so we don't lose them. We got four saplings. Come on. There we go. So definitely if you're wanting a challenge um, try this out it's definitely fun to play it is very challenging but it is very fun to play um, let's make two of these so we have some extras um, and just the sheer discovery on how to create certain things you know as you get deeper into the game you know like you start trying to figure out like well how do I make this and how do I get that and you know and it's it's really challenging especially without you know um, like the mod uh, Tinker's Construct is in here and with the smeltery and you can smelt all the materials and everything like you normally could but you cannot make tools out of it you're basically stuck with these silly little tools that you 
that you have you can't you can't make anything like an axe to like chop down the whole tree or anything like that so it there's a lot of challenging aspects that they've done to the particular mods that are in here that makes it more difficult for you like you can't just go to the crafting table and make a stone sword you have to build um you have to build it with the part builders and everything so it's really challenging in that aspect but so i think since uh let me see if i can knock some of this tree out here real quick oh, I'm, I'm getting hungry that's why i didn't want to have to do this tree like this because you have to jump up here to get all this crap all that does is just makes you hungrier. You can see that I'm like bubbling right now because I'm hungry. So the other thing that uh, I got to be mindful of too is I believe out this way, I think it's this way out there, is a like a winter biome. And once we see it rain and snow we need to collect as many snowballs as we can because those come in really handy for our food source because we can combine those with the like strawberries and blackberries and stuff like that to make a smoothie and the smoothies give us I think it's a, a bar and a half ham bone of hunger so those are really handy to have so we got to be mindful if if we see snow we got to start collecting it let's bust down as much as this i can reach from here i don't want to get up any higher let's see how much how many saplings we can get to fall out of what we can reach and i'll let the rest just deteriorate because i don't want to climb up here i'm already at one and a half hand bones Starting to get miners fatigue really bad. Okay, where's these apples? Alright. So I think with that being said, we're going to go ahead and finish this episode off right here. We'll be back again and we'll uh, see how much further that we can get. So I think for right now, though, I will call it from where I'm standing. So we got a little bit of start. I'm going to hop down there and get this wood just before I get off of here. And we will um, see if we can get this going a little bit faster next time. We'll maybe start expanding this to make it a little more room for ourselves. See if we can get that cobblestone, get a couple more rewards of our quest book. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.